New at 7 o'clock, memories are flooding back for a Vietnam veteran who visited his former unit at Camp Pendleton today. 10 News reporter Amanda Brandeis was there as he recalled the battle when his unit was outnumbered 25 to 1. Looking at the mountains, I remember having to run up and down them. A lot has changed since Ray Hildreth trained at Camp Pendleton. That's nice to hear that the SEALs don't have really have anything over us. 50 years later, he's visiting the 1st Recon Battalion. And while the Marines here may not recognize him, they know his story. When you're a young Marine, especially in the reconnaissance community, you hear about all the major battles. You get put in a situation like that and there's no place to run. Is it it was fight or die. In June of 66, his unit was stationed on Hill 488 in the jungles of Vietnam. There was just 18 of them when they encountered a battalion of over 200. And the VA yelled out, Marines, you die in an hour. And we had some colorful words to say back to them. And I uh, said, come and get us. Their leader was the late Jimmy Howard, who had earned a silver star in Korea. Whenever Sergeant Howard got hit, I was, then I got really scared because he was my, like my rock. He was our leader. Sergeant Howard told their unit to laugh at the enemy, misleading them to think they were much bigger. If we hadn't laughed at them, by sheer numbers, they could have walked across the top of the hill and killed us. End of the day, there were maybe eight rounds of ammunition left between us. Ultimately, they were victorious, killing an estimated 200 overall. All 18 of his men were wounded. Six died. I thought that uh, people need to know about the battle. Hildreth wrote a book about the battle, just one of many which paved the way for the men and women serving our country today. Amanda Brandeis, 10 News. What a story. And the battle earned Hildreth's unit the title of most decorated unit of its size in the entire U.S. military. Incredible story.